Hey, welcome to our channel. I am Martina and today in this video I'm going to show you how to use a morph transition to animate the map. Okay, let's get started. In this example, I'm going to show you how to use morph to animate this map. It's very important to have all elements on the first slide, because what PowerPoint will do while using Morph is track the changes between those elements from one slide to another and apply the movement. So first, we want to duplicate the slide, so you can either right-click on it and select Duplicate or just press Ctrl D. Now I will remove everything except your part and I want to make this part bigger. So to do that and keep the same proportions and layout of those countries, we have to first group it. So let's right click on it and select group. You can also press Ctrl G. Then hold Shift and Ctrl, stretch selection a little bit till it fits the whole slide. But don't forget to ungroup it again so then Morph can still track one element from one point to another. Now let's select three countries that we want to highlight and change the color of it to orange. Next step is to duplicate the slide again. So let's select it and right click on it and select duplicate. I want to remove everything except our highlighted part. So let's hold shift and select those three countries, then cut them out, press Ctrl X, then select everything else and just delete it and paste it back, Ctrl V. Let's duplicate the slide twice, so I select it and press Ctrl D twice. Go to the first slide and we are going to rearrange those countries. So let's move two on this side and then make this one bigger. Great, then let's go to another slide and this one should be outside of our slide area. Italy should be also on this side. And this slide is about Germany, so I will hold Shift and Control together and make it bigger. And then the last one, we have to do exactly the same, just remove two countries to the left. And the last one, make it much bigger. Something about that. Great. Here you can see a preview of our slides, if they're well aligned, countries look great. So now it's time to apply Morph. Let's select slides from 1 to 4. Hold Shift to do that and go to Transition tab and select Morph. We have a small preview of the first slide, um, but let's see all of them, how it turned out. Click on the first slide and select Reading View. And with every click of your mouse, you will see the transition from one slide to another. So the next step, we will see one country and then smooth movement to another one and the last one. Looks great! As you probably remember from our preview, uh, we also had those text boxes coming from the left side of the slide. So let's create it now. Click on the second slide and go to the Home tab, then in the Drawing group, select Text Box. Click and drag to create it on the slide and then we're gonna type equal sign lorem, open bracket, 3, 4, and close the bracket, press enter. And as you can see, we have like a sample text. Then I hold shift and control, drag it up, select everything, control A, and type UK. Then I'm gonna use a shortcut to make it bigger. Shift, control, and greater sign, and change the color to match the color of the country. Then select both and press control G to group it together. Then we're gonna apply animation. Go to the animation tab, fly in and now change the effect options to fly from left and it's gonna start after previous great selected Control c to copy it or right click and copy and paste on the two next slides then all we have to do is to change the name of of the country that we have in a box okay so now it's time to see everything that we did Click on the first slide and go to the reading view. With every click, we will have a transition to another slide. And of course, the text that is coming from the left side of the slide. Everything looks pretty good. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any comment, leave it below. And if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe.